Good afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am Arirang News, AI anchor, Ari. UN member states condemn North Korea's supply of arms to Russia. At the latest disarmament conference held in Geneva, on the second day of the high-level meeting on Tuesday, France denounced the North's support for Russia which includes ballistic missiles, and urged the regime to respect obligations to dismantle its nuclear programs. Ukraine also criticized North Korea for supporting Russia's war against Ukraine, killing innocent civilians, and destroying the country. Poland, Romania, Germany, and Italy also expressed concerns and demanded denuclearization. On Monday, South Korea's second vice foreign minister Gang Inseon urged the North to cease its nuclear and missile programs and return to denuclearization talks. Starting next Monday, the military forces of South Korea and the U.S. will hold their combined exercise, the Freedom Shield. The two countries said Wednesday that this is aimed at strengthening their combined defense posture based on scenarios that reflect diverse threats within the security environment. They also explained that there will be a total of 40 combined field training exercises taking place all across the Korean Peninsula, on land, at sea, and in the air. The exercise will be held for 11 days, until March 14. South Korea's population shrank again in December last year. According to data released by Statistics Korea on Wednesday, the number of newborns in December was around 16,000, down 3.8% on year. Data also showed that the number of deaths in December dropped slightly compared to the year before with a total of over 32,000. The figure for that month was the second highest in 2023 after January, with the number of deaths exceeding the number of births in December. The country's total population saw a natural decline of more than 16,000. Following remarks from world leaders over possible troop support for Ukraine, NATO quickly shot down the idea. On Monday, the issue of sending troops was raised at a meeting in Paris where European countries discuss ways to support Ukraine in its fight against Russia. EU and NATO member countries quickly expressed that they had no intention of sending troops to support Ukraine. The Pentagon on Tuesday also expressed an unwillingness to send military forces despite being one of the biggest supporters of Ukraine during the two-year-long war. Russia warned that if NATO member countries do send troops, conflict between the military alliance and Russia is inevitable. BTS member Jungkook, who is currently serving in the military, secured a spot in the top 10 global singles chart 2023 with his track 7, recognized for being among the world's best-selling singles of last year, announced on Monday by the International Federation of the Phonographic Industry. 7, ranked number 10 on the chart with sales of 1.24 billion. Sales figures are converted from all digital formats, including single-track downloads and paid subscription streaming, from over 8,000 record labels across the world. Miley Cyrus won the Global Single Award for 2023 for her song Flowers, which topped the chart with 2.7 billion sales. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.